here we've got fog. Take a look. Take a look. Bad moon rising, bad fog rising. This here is also an alchemical temple. They put buildings out in the middle of nowhere and then they spray the surrounding areas with fog. This is how they do it. They don't want green, they don't want creation. They hate God and they're rebelling against him. And he's letting them do it and we are letting them do it. We are incredulous because we don't want to believe it. And of course, because we love the delicacies of Mystery of Babylon. Um, an acquaintance of mine recently said, oh, I'm so glad I own a house. You know, she, I, I don't know, I kind of felt like she might be rubbing it under my nose because I just have a measly a uh, little apartment. Uh, oh, I'm, just, I'm so glad that I own a house and our payments are going to be terminated soon. No more payments and then we'll be free. And I, I just really felt like saying, well, that is until you're completely disenfranchised and they take away all your rights and your property. But I didn't. I didn't. Because I, I take a look here at two marked. Take a look here, what's coming out of there. Take a look. I don't know if they're gonna pull what they did uh, three weeks ago and completely immerse us in fog. How can that be? Why is the fog now just beginning to rise? Well, maybe because the sun is coming up now, but just take a look here. Let me show you. This white is fake fog. Why is it fake? Well, there's no reason for, for for a fog. You see, God governs the earth with laws, with his laws. God is the law. And these frequent flyers and sky scratchers, demonically inspired from the pit of hell, come in and say, no, we don't want what God has. We want the global. And we want everybody to believe in the global. And in spite of all the laws of God, they act against them. They're breaking all the rules, and this is what they do, and this is what they want you to do. Simon says, break all the rules. As soon as the media comes out with something, people run, people jump, because they believe the media. They believe the media is an authority. Take a look at this periphery here. It's undeniable. Every day you've got this slimy periphery, blue and pink. And then, of course, we have the wind turbines, which are mechanically driven and inject electricity. I just found uh, some articles this morning about this. Take a look. They're, they're really, you can hardly see them for all the fog. But in reality, this sky should be clear, should be a beautiful dark blue and not this pale, miserable, washout blue that we see here. If they would leave well enough alone and quit spraying, everything would regenerate, you see, but people are not making the connection between the spray and the high temperatures that we're having. How can it be freezing at night and go uh, and go up to 20, 25 degrees during the day? I don't know what the temperature is during the day here. I do not know. But it's much too warm. Why can't we have just a beautiful blue sky all day long? No, we can't have it. Because of the global. The global has to be generated. This global warming lie must be sustained at all costs. What are the costs? Your life, my life, creation, birds. We've got so many insects here yet. My horses have winter coats and then they've got all these insects in them, chewing away at their skin parasitically. People are not really considering all of the ramifications of this global. Take a look back here, completely white completely white atmosphere.
but Messiah did say, sword, pestilence, and what was the other thing? Was it fire? Look at this white here. There will be no rapture. Does anybody here on earth even deserve to have a rapture? Does anybody really deserve to be raptured up? Only the animals, I would say, because they are taking the brunt of what we are making them suffer, what we are allowing them to suffer.